Welcome to the Hollywood Rock City Show. And here we have Tommy Black. I'm gonna feature his band, Melody Black. Now, Tommy Black, he's been in lots of bands, the Gutter Cats. He even played with me in the Exiles for a brief time. And uh, he played with the Roundabouts, I'm just off the top of my head, the Roundabouts from Scott, Scott Wieland's band, or Wyland. I never knew how to pronounce that. And um, he also played in Sparkler with Rick P Parker from Lions and Ghosts. That's right. And anyways, Melody Black is this is his band with his songs. And I actually even played a set with him because I stood in because they were their guitar player couldn't do a show for some reason. I believe is what it was. And uh, I always look to see if Melody Black is uploaded to YouTube and he never upload no one you know he never uploaded it so and then lo and behold I decided to uh, check one more time and it was here I couldn't believe it it's uploaded three months ago just barely you know I've like one of the first things I checked when YouTube first started is my, my friends bands and stuff anyways uh, really really talented artist and um, <clears throat> The Gutter Cats. So the Gutter Cats, if you don't know, was the band that was on Married with Children, but he wasn't in the band anymore. But that band, that rock and roll band from Hollywood, that's uh, they're doing a music video with um, Kelly Bundy. Um, that's the Gutter Cats. Just so if you guys can make a connection. And also he was the, I remember them saying something like, uh, he was the, called the, the, the uh, um, celebrity bartender or rock, a rock star bartender at the Viper Room. And I believe now he's like the manager or the general manager or, or in charge there. I'm not even sure. But um, anyways, let's check out his channel. Now, I've checked it out a little bit. I've been listening to Melody Black for a few days now, just enjoying this in the headphones because he has the entire set here. So I'm going to do it song by song. Every now and then I'll do a song. Okay, so, oh yeah, let me, I think it's this button I need to hit. Okay, here it is. Okay, here it goes. I'm on my wife's laptop. I never go on this thing. Videotapes. Transferred. This is sometime in the mid to late 90s, I think. I'm guessing 96? I guess I played with them, but I don't. I don't remember. We just, just I just played one, one show with them. Very nice people. I remember him being very nice though. That's Joel on drums from Blackboard Jungle. I guess he was my roommate at that exact moment. That's how I sub for this guy. in LA not too far from Hollywood really it's basically Hollywood in my head <laughs> it's like barely LA right where LA starts kind of in my head
Joel, the drummer, is also the drummer for Gene Love's Jezebel Now, I believe. I'm pretty sure. Very cool vibe. I could see them playing with Mazzy Star or something. Which is one of my favorites. There you go. Melody Black. Now, I don't know the name of the song, but um, like I said, I'm gonna grab a song every now and then just to kind of let my subscribers know and, you know, just kind of throw it out there. So if I just show, something, show them something once, then that might not be enough. So I always kind of like to do that, uh, bring things back. So here's Tommy. Now, I just saw some footage on accident too, which is just coincidence with Tommy on a Sunset Strip magazine, 1991. Isn't that funny? And on YouTube, a video. I just saw, I was showing my wife how young, because that's how I would, we, I think you were wearing like the same clothes when we played together. Like the same exact clothes. Cause I remember copying your clothes, buying the same clothes after that. <laughs> anyway, or at least the pants. But, um, all right, so I saw something on here Wait, I think, yeah, I guess I have to hit videos. Where Tommy is, uh, here's the KTLA thing. Um, here's him playing acoustic. There he goes. Still looks super cool. No surprise, no surprise. <laughs> These might be other bands that he's, could be in, I'm not sure. Hmm, okay, I've gone too far. Let's backtrack. Let's see right here. So I was watching this for a second. And they're talking about having a... Um, the Foo Fighters rock this. in the empty troubadour in West Hollywood in a last-ditch effort to rescue iconic rock venues in danger of never reopening again. The group is one of several big Tell names you. raising money to rescue these small clubs where many of them got their start. KTLA's Kimberly Chang oh, here joins us live with more of the crusade to save... Here's Tommy talking about it in a second. Right now. Oh, it's dark. Some will, will hold on, but... Um, a lot of the really cool ones won't, and everybody needs to be aware of that. And it's, it's not just the venues, it's the staff at the venues and, you know, the bands. Something like this, it's a big community where folks like the Foo Fighters and so many other entertainers come out and support the venues that have supported them. It's Are you just, a trip? As a matter of fact, let me just find it real quick. Let's Donations to the emergency young. relief fund will help those men. Find the one where he's uh, super young. Where, um, sun. Oh, I'm typing with one finger while holding the phone. Oops. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mag. Enter. As a matter of fact, I think, I think it's this one. Somewhere in like here ish. I, I was just watching it on the. Oh, what happened? <laughs> All right. There we go. Anyways, this is pretty cool because people are on the Sunset Strip here. Come on, stupid thing. See, I'm not used to my wife's laptop. How did I find that on my phone? Here's Bang Gang. I remember that. But oh, I probably never find it actually. Maybe, I think it was, I should have looked at the time. What an idiot. All right, I'll find it. Let me see, let me look a little harder. Was it here?
There it is. Young Tommy Black. Here we go. And this is actually how you looked when I met. Or when I met. When I met him. I say YouTube because I always feel like everyone eventually watches these. Everyone always writes me about these. Too bad. Here, let me see that for a second. Oh, it is lip service. Does that work? I remember this place. For some reason, I thought it was Red Balls. So that is lip service. So long ago. Oh, here, you don't speak at all. How can, how can you do this without speaking? There he is, super young Tommy oh, Black. Yeah. I remember that. Wow. Look what she turns uh, into. Now there's some lip service magic. No more coffin trick. That was pretty amazing, wasn't it? You know, special effects. Steven Spielberg showed me how to do that. He did. There you go, super, to super cool Tommy. And then Melody Black, that uh, where he has the shorter hair. All always cool. This guy's always cool. Anyways, uh, there you go. Melody Black. I'll be showing you some more of that.